With this photograph, we're going to examine how we can use some of the skills that we've already gained in order to modify color and tone, but we're going to add a few more steps in in order to create some even more interesting results. Well, this particular photograph is a photo of one of my favorite surfboard shaper's office. I just love how much is going on here. I love all the details. Isn't there just so much vitality and life captured here in this image? Well, what I want to do is bring that out a bit. So the first step that we're going to take is going to be to duplicate this file. So let's navigate to our image pull-down menu, and here we're going to choose duplicate. And we're going to do this in order to duplicate the file because we want to apply an effect on this file that we're going to then bring over to the original document. So here, we're going to go to image, we're going to choose adjustments, and then we're going to tap into something which is new in Photoshop CS5, and that is HDR toning. In this HDR toning dialog, what I'm interested in doing is just adding a bit of vibrance and detail here, but I want to do this on a desaturated file. So we'll go ahead and lower the saturation there. We'll increase our detail amount and our gamma just a bit, and also the overall strength. And again, all we're looking for is creating kind of this black and white image that has a lot of brightness and a lot of glow in it. So I'm just going to dial this in. And we're going to be blending this in on our other layer. So the way this looks isn't the final result. Rather, we're exaggerating so that we can then blend it in. So create some kind of an exaggerated look similar to something that we have here and click OK. Next, we'll grab our Move tool. We'll hold down the Shift key and we'll simply click and drag and then drop this image onto the background or original file. Well, here let's press F to go to full screen view mode and then I'll grab the zoom tool and just click and hold to zoom in a little bit there so we can focus in on this image. Well, at this juncture, what I want to do is look at my before and then after. Well, in order to apply this particular layer to the underlying layer so that we get an interesting effect, I'm going to take this to a blending mode of soft light. Now, when we go to that soft light blending mode, what this allows us to do is to have this muted look applied with this HDR toning aesthetic. Let's zoom out and then perhaps even zoom in a little bit there so we can see it. Here's that before and then after. Really interesting look. Now if we want to modify this further, what you can do is click on your Curves Adjustment Layer icon. Make some kind of an adjustment here and then hold down Option or Alt and hover over the dividing line of these two layers and click. That will create a layer clipping mask. You can also do so by clicking on this icon here. And the reason why we might want to do this is we might want to modify that layer that we're using here. Sometimes it's nice to add just a bit more light there if we didn't exaggerate perhaps enough. So here we have that before and then after. Well, at this juncture, I kind of like this muted look, but I want to take out even more color. I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can evaluate the whole photograph. Next, I'll click on the adjustment layer icon and choose hue saturation and then simply desaturate. And I'm going to desaturate 20 or 30 points. Again, just removing more of the color. And I'm kind of liking how this is looking now. Here we have that before and then after. It gives us this different look or feel. Now, of course, you can always go back to the layer that you created here, this HDR toning layer, and lower the opacity. If that's too strong for your liking, find the sweet spot for your particular image. Well, here I think it looks best at 100, so let's leave it as is. But let's name this layer so that we remember what this is. We'll call this one HDR Toning. Next step for me is going to be to add a bit of color. Now that I've muted everything out, I want to bring some color back. So we'll click in my topmost layer, click on the Adjustment Layer icon, and then experiment with some of my different color layers like Color Balance. Color Balance is a ton of fun because we can tap into those shadows, we could add some cool tones there in those shadows. If we want to cool that off, we could go into the highlights. We could warm that up a bit there in the highlights there. Or we could add a different color shift if we want to. Again, you can see how we can swing this color one way or another. Now here at this juncture, I think this is a pretty nice ending point for this file. It just has this really interesting kind of subtle muted tone there. And in this case, let's look at our overall before and after. Here we have before, and then now we have after a distinct or different look at this particular scene by working with some of these techniques. Now keep in mind that the ending point for your photograph may be completely different. Perhaps you'll experiment with color balance and you'll take this to a blending mode of soft light and add contrast there so that that color effect brings out some more of the contrast. Or 
perhaps you'll go back to normal. and Maybe you'll swing this one way or another even further to add perhaps a stronger or more prominent color effect in order to have perhaps a bit more of a cross-process aesthetic. Well, whatever you do here, just keep in mind that the trick is to experiment, of course. And with this image, what I'm going for is something a little bit more subtle. So I'm going to soften that up a bit and even lower the opacity here. The object here, of course, is to work with color and tone in order to create something completely different. And what we've added to the mix at this juncture is how we can use some different type of adjustments, like this HDR toning adjustment, in order to create an even different type of photograph. Here, if we turn this off, we can see that before and after. And we can see how much that HDR toning layer really brings to this particular color effect.